Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. In today's course play tutorial, I'm going to show you how to collect bales and then unload them using course play. So as you can see, I already have this bale trailer filled up a little bit. It's got about 15 bales in it already, just to speed up the process. So in this case, I'm using a grass field, so you should have made a grass outline and have a couple courses ready. So in this case, I used my, let's go ahead, I'm going to use my grass outline right here. And in this case, I know this is my northwest corner up in here, heading east in that direction. I want to make sure I return to the first point activated. And the reason why you want to do that is because if you have it, if you don't return to the first point, what it'll do is go to the end point and you'll run into a whole bunch of bales. So that's an important step. So in this case, this would be the windrow course. So I am following the same course as the baler. Okay, so I already have this one saved. So what I want to do right now is let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and record the unload course. So this is the first point. Well, this is going to be the first point right at the end here. All right, so let's go ahead and record this. So this is the first point. And where you want the bales unloaded is going to be your weight point. So let's go ahead and put a weight point right there. There we go. And then I'm going to just drive away from there. Perfect. So that's going to be the unload course now. So let's call that bale unload v32, sure. All right, so what you want to do is you want to load the your collecting course first, like so. And then you want to load the unload course second. And in this case, I'm just going to set it to nearest waypoint because I already collected a few bales up here. One of the things you want to make sure you do is you set the tool offset to about 2.5. You may need to, need to adjust a little bit depending on how the baler reacts. So let's go ahead and put it to the nearest waypoint. So it's going to collect this last bale here. There it goes. So it's going to go to the offset and this is the last bale right here. So remember, I'm following the same course as the baler. All I've done is I've adjusted my offset to about 2.5 meters to the left just to make sure that the collector or this part right here actually gets the bales. And then what's going to happen is once it collects the last bales, so in this case I have 15 bales down here, and once it gets to the 16th bale, it's going to load it like so. And now, as you can see, the lights are on, so it's finished, and it's actually going back to that very first waypoint here. So it's going to turn around, it's going to go to the very first waypoint, which is way up there. So it's going to return there. And sometimes what you may want to do is you may want to fiddle with the field speed. So in this case, if I increase the field speed, as you can see, it's going a bit quicker. Or if you want to make it more reasonable, you can leave it down at whatever you think is reasonable. There you go. It's going to leave it at 25 for the time being. And what's it going to do? It's going to go to that first waypoint, and then it's going to start the unload course. OK? So it's getting to this last point right here. It is going to start the unload course, which was started pretty close to here. So there it's going to the very first part of the unload course. And now it's heading towards that weight point right there. And now what's going to happen is it's going to unload the bales, as you can see. They're tipping them back, like so. And what you can do is you can actually put this on a sell point if you want to. There you go. It's going to unload. It should just pop them off. There it goes. It's going to drive away once it finishes lowering the table, like so. So let me just show you that I'm not actually doing this. There you go. So it's going to drive back up to the course, like so. And it's going to continue on its way until it has more bales. Now, the problem with this right here is because these bales aren't going to disappear, what's actually going to happen is this tractor is going to drive straight through those bales. Uh, so you need to deal with those bales very <laughs> as soon as possible, basically. If it's a sell point, it's not a big deal. But if it's not a sell point, then like that, just unloading them there, that's a big deal. So let me take you through that process one more time just so you understand the whole process. So. Biggest thing you want to do is make sure you have it returned to your first point. So whatever your course is for bailing, you want to make sure you have it set. So 
this person, the guy who's unloading the bales or picking up the bales, goes back to the first point because if you don't, it will definitely run through all the bales. So in this case, this is the same path as the windrower would follow in this case. So I would generate this course and then I would, after, I would record my unload course. So what you want to do is when you're loading the courses, I'll show it to you one more time. So you want to make sure you load the grass return first and then the bale unload and then with those two combined courses so now it's going to do the picking up the bales and then it's going to go unload them and whenever you set your weight point it should unload it there anyways i hope you found that helpful my name is ian robson this has been another course play tutorial and i'll catch you guys later